How's everyone doing? I just hopping off of Zoom, coming in hot. I was talking to a gentleman in San Francisco, Cobalt Banker agent, all fired up. His mind was blown. It was so exciting to watch the light bulb come on. So it's very, very cool. Well, we got a great meeting lined up for you today. So we're going to get right to it. I've asked um, um, Jeff Lewis and Matthew Stewart to come up on stage. I'm going to interview them on advice. They're both pairing up agent attraction. And as you know, this is meeting is all about agent attraction. So Jeff and, um, and Matthew come up on, on stage. Don't be shy. Where are you boys? I know you're in here. I'm going to look up. Sometimes they end up being behind me or something. There, there's somebody get over here. I can't see you too far away. Just, there you go. Oh, Matthew Stewart. Come on over here, Matthew, stand up by me. And I'm sure, uh, I'll walk over by the podium so we can get a little bit more subtle. Come up here on my right side. Uh, the audience is left. There you go. Don't get too close. We got to do six feet social distancing, and it looks weird when when if we're holding hands. <laughs> okay. So where's Jeff? Jeff Lewis is he up here? There he is. Jeff, is that you over there? Come over here, Jeff. Once you get on my left on my left side, I think the audience is right. So come on over. Oh, this is funny. You you look like a I love I love your avatar, bro. You look good. <laughs> uh, unmute your mics. So Jeff Lewis, how are you today? Brent, Brent. what's happening, my friend? Good. Walk to the edge of the stage. Just watch forward a little bit. There you go. There you go. Look at I'm that. Here we are, the three amigos. And Matthew Stewart. Matthew, how are you doing today? I am blessed. Can you hear me okay? I am, I am. So let me tell stories on both of you. Um, I'll start with Jeff. I just Jeff, met Jeff. How long have we known each other? It's been, has it been decades? Has it been five or 10 years? How long have we known each other? Where do we go? We go, we go way back. I think like two weeks, Brent. Two weeks. So I want to bring you guys a newbie. He was just ripping the cover off the ball. He is just on fire. So I want you to hear from him. And uh, cause you can make excuses or make dust. I prefer making dust. So Jeff is on fire and he's wearing a shirt that's yellow, like the color of fire appropriate. I like it. And then there's Matthew Stewart. Now Matthew and I do go back. Matthew, what year did we meet? And this is actually a while back. Well, uh, when we officially met, I don't know. I mean, it's probably been 14 years or so ago. We've been in the same real estate market for years, but Actually, before that, you were my hero before I ever met you or knew you. Uh, I had listened to a tape, um, a success tape when I was signed up in Amway on my 18th birthday and you were crushing it at Chico <laughs> State University as an emerald and you were my absolute hero because I'm like, yeah. if, he can, awesome. if he can do that, <laughs> so, there you go. I was washing dishes and my dad signed me up for Amway, which might as well have been Apple, Google or IBM. The word meant nothing. The concept made sense. And I went and, and uh, I'm outgoing and I love people. So it worked. Um, and I'm, I'm a worker. So um, thank you, Matthew. That was very kind. So that was that was that was 35 years ago, my man. <laughs> yeah. But you and I got to know each other back in what, 2009, something like that. On a, yeah. 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 Same office. Yep. Same office. And then Matthew went on to become the golf coach at William Jessup Christian University, loves the Lord, good man, and uh, awesome golfer. And uh, so we're going to have to get on links. We've been talking about it. So we'll, we'll, we'll get out there. Maybe I'll take you up to Lake Tahoe and we'll go play Cowdy Moon or Old Greenwood. It's amazing. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, we got to bring you, Rob. You, to, can, or, uh... you can beat the pants off me because uh, I'm, I'm just a low 80s golfer if all goes well. And if the heavens open and Jesus <laughs> goes up, and Moses, I get in the 70s occasionally. So and then we got Jeff over here, who I've just gotten over the last two weeks. Awesome, awesome, man. Uh, just really, these two are really impressed me. So I wanted you to hear from them. So let's get right into it. Jeff, um, what was your background before EXP? Well, have you been in real estate? I think you're even new to real estate, aren't you? Yeah, so I've been doing real estate for eight years. We got a ministry background. We've traveled around the country preaching in churches. I've nice. done, uh, yeah, I've done a number of different things as far as business and sales from radio station sales. I've had some MLM background. So, yeah, we've kind of had this business ministry thing most of our life. Yeah, the funny thing is your avatar does not look like you. You look like 
Do you look like some dude living in a Dell Webb community retired? If you met him, he's got he's blonde hair, short, spiked. He looks tan, looks like a surfer in California, and and he looks like a, a Doug on movie star. So um, that that's awesome, buddy. So um, okay, good. Let's get into it. Let's what I what I loved about you is you're brand new, and you are putting me in front of people almost every day. And uh, the rest of you in the audience are like, oh, I don't want to bother Brent. Well, Jeff doesn't have a problem bothering me. Neither does Matthew. These two, Matthew Stewart and Jeff, put me in front of more people every week than anybody else. And they don't have a problem. Uh, use me and abuse me. You know, if I'm too busy, I'll tell you I'm too busy. Um, both of them at times will reach out to me. I don't even respond till the next day because I get busy. And they know it's not because I don't love them. I'm just busy. And so... The only way to reach out to me is text message. Sometimes you guys instant message me. I just discovered that I didn't know how to find instant messages. I thought I did, but I've had messages for a month. So instant message is called 30 day message for Brent. It's not instant <laughs> at all. You got to text me, you guys. Um, so say that. So Jeff, we'll start with you. Then I'll come to you, Matthew. Um, you know, eight years in real estate. And uh, you saw the the EXP model. What it what attracted you to the model? Just real quick in a minute. Yeah. So two things. So number one, for me, uh, I was kind of an independent agent and uh, adopted a little boy about four years ago. So time freedom was really important to me. And I just got to the point, you know, doing about six million dollars in business, where I started to get maxed out didn't want to go do open houses and putting signs up and all that kind of a thing. And so uh, I've been real uh, passionate about building teams and raising up leaders. So I love the fact, Brent, that we can, uh, first of all, build a passive uh, income that grows uh, while we do our real estate business. I love that. I think that's a huge solution that we offer the marketplace. And then um, I think then also the thing that we can actually build our teams and not just and basically be geographically diversified. We had a hurricane that came through here about uh, it was funny. We had about Hurricane Irma came here about two years ago. And so everyone started fleeing Florida and getting out of Florida. You know, we thought, man, something like that happens in one geographic area. It's it's wise just to be diversified. So. I think all of that, I just think we bring such a solution, right? You've talked about making real estate great again. Um, I think we just offer a solution that no one else does. So uh, so those are the kind of things I saw right away that were like powerful. That's awesome. I love it. And so you get in and you immediately make a list of names. And then what are you saying to people when you call them up? Because you're having uh, great success at this. What do you say to people? Yeah, so I'll just, uh, if I haven't talked to them a while, I'll build a quick, build some rapport. And then I tell them, hey, I'm working on a real estate project with some of the most uh, successful realtors coast to coast. We're actually building a program where realtors can develop three streams of income, a retirement plan, health care, instead of the one up and down roller coaster commission only model. Would you like some more information? So that's my invitation. Then I put them in front of your video, the model explained. And then I'm putting them in front of you and AJ for those that are uh, want more information. OK, so let me stop you. Everyone grab your cell phones. Find the recording button. I want you to record what he just said because you need to listen to that. That was butter. <laughs> that was honey on top of on top of some toast. I don't know what you put honey on, but that was good. So grab your phones, grab whatever recording model model you have. Find a way to record what he's about to say. But um, that was really good, Jeff. So he was talking about healthcare. He's talking about multiple streams of income. He's talking about retirement. Would you be interested in knowing more? Loved it. Fantastic. So, but would you kind of, I know it's, you can't do it exactly, but would you throw it out yeah, there? Yeah. And hopefully they've had Absolutely. time to get their phones already. So, so I'll build some rapport so it doesn't get weird if I haven't talked so to the guy. Is this a stranger? A is it a stranger or somebody you know? Both. So, you know, both. So these are people that I've known in the real estate business. And then there's people that I'm just meeting. And exactly. so, um, so I'll build some rapport just so it doesn't get weird. 
and um, just talking. And sometimes that's multiple conversations or DMs or texts. And so once we've built adequate rapport, I just say, hey, listen, and, you know, eventually they're going to ask me after I've asked them what's happening, how you doing? They're going to ask me what I'm up to. Say, I'm actually working on a real estate project with some of the most successful realtors coast to coast. We're actually building a program where realtors can develop three streams of income, including a retirement, a health care plan, and uh, want to know if you want to get some more information. And then, boom, I put them in front of your model explained right now. We haven't got Lunch and Learns kicked off yet here in Tampa. We'll do that eventually. And then those, after they watch that, um, then I'm just getting them in, on uh, with you and AJ to get their questions answered. By the way, I was in Tampa last spring with a friend of mine I knew from college, and we were running all over Tampa. And, and um, uh, sadly, his wife ended up getting cancer and passing away within four or five months. Mm. Rocked his world. He's actually relocating here to Tahoe. Um, but um, awesome, uh, great Christian man. I don't know how people deal with that if, if they don't know the Lord. But, um, yeah. you know, it's, it's been an amazing time. But how crazy. I was in your town and didn't even know you. I know, I know. Well, we'll have to have you back. Uh, right on. I'm looking forward to coming back. So you um, uh, you say this to people. Do you do it once a day, twice a day? What do you think you average? Because you're you're having really good success, in my opinion. Yeah. So what what I'm what I'm doing, Brent? I got my little sheet in front of me right here. Is I've just now again I'm a newbie, right? I've been at this. My license. I switched my license two weeks ago. So um, I've set a goal. Um, to touch 20 agents a day. I got a little little check <laughs> checklist here. 20 agents it. a day. So most of the people in the audience are going, crud, uh, you thought it because he looks like a movie star and he has a spiked blonde hair and he's tan and he looks like he's, you know, the golden boy from California. He's he's doing work. He's shoveling dirt. He's not that people are dirt, but bingo, 20 a day. It's a numbers game, 100 a week. And no wonder you're constantly putting me in front of people What's Tony Robbins say? You're in your head, you're dead. Start, get out there, do something, and you'll yeah. get better. Are you finding yourself getting more comfortable and better, Jeff? Oh, yeah, for sure. And just like anything, right? It's like once you, even even each individual day, once you kind of get going and get in the groove and you're talking, to, I mean, man, you feel good. You feel like you're being productive. You, you got hope. You're like, wow, you know, this person that's just got in front of Brent, which by the way, Guys, I mean, to have the income that Brent has and the team that he has to that makes himself available for us to that we could just put people in front that have already watched the the presentation. It's like I, I told Brent the other day, I mean, sometimes I feel bad. I only got one person in front of his time. I can only imagine his time. So anyways, you, yeah, Brent, you start feeling you start feeling great. You start feeling like hope, like Hey, I just talked to a guy. He's got 12 agents in his brokerage, you know? And so if he didn't switch over you, but, but even just having hope in your day, as you're like, so, someone said, you might've said this or a, a friend of mine, I think you said this in your video, the time it takes to go run a buyer around that, that meeting, or the time it takes to have a listing appointment when you're sitting at someone's kitchen table and the time right. it takes you to have a presentation, uh, to recruit somebody, that time is the most valuable, well-invested time. So you get off the phone with someone like that, and you're like, five years from now, what might that seed look like? I love it. That is so beautiful. And Matthew, I'm about to come to you, so get ready. First half was Jeff, second half you. Okay, so here you are talking. You have a goal to talk to 20 day. Now let's be honest. How many do you talk to day, every yeah. day? Are you a machine or do you, do you miss it sometimes and have days? I have, yeah, I have missed it, but, but there's other days and, and I'm getting ready to step. There's other days that I go above and beyond. So I've probably averaged 20 people a day since, since I signed up that I'm touching. That's uh, that's 200 people in the last two weeks. Now that's how you get stuff done. By the way, I was re-listening to my own webinar. I sponsored 25 in the first three months. I went freaking nuts. So that is a really good thing to to do, and and then if if you're a man or a woman of faith, if if you have a prayer life, or maybe you like to meditate, you know, maybe that's not your bag. That's cool. That's not your jam. It's my jam, and so I can tell you this: my secret sauce was building this business on my knees and asking 
dad yes. for help. And yes. by the way, my dad is in the audience, Jim Gove. Hey, dad, I see you out there. Love you. Um, <laughs> but um, when I say dad, I, I did ask my dad for help. But I asked the other one, too, the, the man upstairs. And what a difference. And I know you, you feel yeah. that way, too, Jeff. So that is that is awesome. So, yeah, I pray. I'm praying them in, Brent. I'm praying them in right now. Right I got on. the team, the team now, is saying, "Hey, man, I have prayed you in." So, if you're a praying person, why not have the most incredible businessman, Jesus, helping <laughs> you, helping? And and if that's not your jam, that's okay too. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, absolutely. So, thank you, Jeff. Quick question. So, you talked to twenty. Let's get down to brass tacks because I want people to know what to expect. Yeah. What do you get? Two, three, four, five a day that are yeah. That so are I'll get two. But what are your numbers? Yeah. So uh, uh, on average, two meaningful conversations a day is what I've seen. There you go. Two out of twenty. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm willing to do that. Well, there you go. So he is. But here's the deal. That's not what it takes to make it an EXP. That's what it takes to make it at a very, very high level. And so some of you are like, hey, I'm just good with 40,000 a year rev share, 80,000 a year rev share, and I'm going to chunk down my mortgage by 40, 60, 80,000 a year, and that's going to give me a meaningful retirement when I have no mortgage. Um, hey, Dad, unmute your mic real quick. Um, he's out there in the audience. Unmute your mic left. He's screaming. Yo, you, hey, hey, Pop, how you doing? I'm doing great, Brad. What, what was it like when you and mom paid off the house after all those years and had no mortgage payment? Uh, you know, it was really a relief. It was, uh, it was a goal that we had uh, dreamed about, and we finally did it probably 10 years ago now. And uh, it was worth, worth, the, worth the risk. But we didn't have EXP then. We had to do it the old-fashioned way and buy homes and, and change toilets. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> we we still did. buy real estate and... Uh, and by the way, he made me change some of those toilets. Slave labor. I mean, have kids and put them to work. I mowed enough of your rental properties. I'm, yeah. still bitter. I'm still bitter about that, Dad. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. I love you. All right. Thanks for popping in. But you bet. So chunking you bet. down that mortgage is for real. Okay, switching gears, switching gears. Um, thank you, Jeff. That was awesome. And um, stay with us if you can, Jeff, because I sure. want to talk to you at the end. Matthew Stewart. Okay, switching gears. Matthew also, man, he's got people in... British Columbia, Canada, Ontario, Canada, back east in California, San Diego, LA, San Francisco. This guy is a madman. Um, I don't even know how he does it, but let's start with how long you've been in real estate? Uh, about 20 years. So he's, he's uh, Jeff is a newbie at EXP and Jeff's only been doing real estate for eight years. So you get the rookie award in both categories, Jeff, but you're doing good. Don't worry. So <laughs> Me and Matthew are old dogs. I'm 24 years. He's 20 years. We've been at this a while. So, Matthew, um, what is it you say to people when you call them up in general? I mean, I realize this. It, what would be your general way you approach people? You can role play with me or Jeff if you want, but what, what do you say? Yeah, uh, good question. So, I wouldn't say that there's a standard there's kind of a script that I get to, but as Jeff brought up that you really need to develop a skill of building rapport pretty quickly on the phone. So, you know, I'm always big smile on the phone. I think people can, you know, and I'll laugh and, and they just, it's, um, I don't know. It's they're, they're guards. Yeah. Smile their guards come down and, and, you know, and so on, even the ones that are the type a driver, which I'm a very type a driver, you know, Hey, what do you want? Time's money. <laughs> You'll get those agents on the call, you know, and you got to disarm those and do it pretty quick. And so you got to really kind of scramble. But um, no, I mean, it all depends on the type of agent or broker that I'm talking to. I mean, because I, I give you an example in one day. I, it was funny. I was having dinner with my wife and I said, babe, do you realize that if the Lord blessed me, you know, us with all my efforts today that everybody said yes today that automatically we would have over 6,000 agents in our brokerage. And that was one day of calls. Now that's not normal. That's not every day, but there's were some big hitters that controls, you know, a lot of offices and agents and so on. But I literally had conversations with each of them. And, um, but are, are you calling strangers? Are you calling people, you know, or both, oh, both, both. But that day, most of those people didn't know me from Adam. So I think one of the secrets that I could pass on to everybody in the room would be 
the, the power of edification, if you can take it off of yourself and really learn how to properly edify the people on your success team above you. Now, granted, it's easy to edify Brent, right? And so on. But you have people in your success team immediately above you, your sponsor and beyond, that you need to learn their stories and things that you can utilize to really edify them. Because if you can get it to where the people you're talking to on the phone has expressed some interest, you know, you kind of pique their interest. Then my job is, oh, I got to get you on the phone with so-and-so, you know, um, and I edify whoever it is. And, um, and then I kind of go from there. But before I put them on the phone with you, Brent, I make sure that they've been properly exposed with the information. So I'll send them to, you know, the modelexplain.com or any other type of information that I may have. And one of the scripts that I use when I get to the point of them saying, yeah, I'm kind of interested, I'd say, look, if I sent you a video, would you watch it? So it's a script, if I, would you? So if I sent you the script, Brent, would you watch it? And you'll say, yeah, I'll watch it. And I'll say, okay, great. When do you think you'd watch it for sure? And the whole process of what I'm leading Brent down is for him to commit, one, to watching it, and two, when the follow-up time would be so that I'm not dictating it and it's out of their own mouth and their calendar. So he goes, well, I don't know, I'm kind of, it's the beginning of the week. Uh, I'd probably get it done by Friday. And I'd say, okay, great. So you think uh, Friday evening, if I gave you a jingle, maybe after your busy day, we could you know, have a couple minutes and chat about what you like the most. And so I'm always planting the seed of positive, what they liked. Um, and Brent would say, yeah, that, that's fine. And I'd go, okay, great. I, you know, 4.30 work for you. And then I'd get their email and their phone number and, and I'd book it in my calendar and I set an alarm on my phone because when you're going, as I'm sure Jeff knows, doing 20 a day, uh, you, if you don't put alarms and different things, at least for me, I can drop the follow-up and that that can just kill your business because the fortune's in the follow-up and doing what you say you're going to do. Ooh, the fortunes and the follow-up. So stay very organized. Yeah, and I'm, you know, not necessarily the most organized guy, but that's why I, knowing that, I try to set up um, various quote-unquote systems for me that keep me on track so that I can uh, respond back. <clears throat> and what's interesting, and I'm sure Jeff's experienced the same thing, and you probably did as well, Brent. Um, gosh, not even, I don't know, about half the time, you know, they don't, they don't answer on the follow-up time that they set and we agreed to. Yeah. And the key is to not get discouraged. Just realize, you know, I'll call back and say, Hey Brent, you know, I had it down to give you a call at one o'clock. I hope I didn't get it mixed up in my calendar. It's, <laughs> it's been known to happen, but uh, you know, I'm sure you probably just got real busy. Give me a jingle when you get a get a moment and let's uh, let's connect you know and then I'll bump that appointment to uh, 48 hours in my calendar and reset my alarm and then I'm off to the next one I love I it love it by the way there's some the feedback way, there we got no. there we got no. mute your mic <laughs> yeah your mic's on maybe yeah, that's I, yeah. okay I want to say this I'm going to coach everybody in the audience. If you have an appointment with me, I would love it if you texted me a couple hours early and said, don't forget Ron today at four o'clock because occasionally I tell you yes, but it doesn't make my calendar. So you want to get me to go, yep, I'll see you at four because or, or sometimes I'm thinking it was it, you You said four and, it, and, and it, I'm thinking four Pacific and it's four Eastern or Central. So make sure you get the time frames right. Double check. And then even on follow-ups, Matthew and Jeff and everybody else, sometimes you go, hey, don't forget, I'm going to call you today at 1 o'clock, little reminder, look for my phone call. You actually want to remind them that you're going to call because we're all type A and running hard, and, and people can use reminders, so I highly recommend that. Um, so, Matthew, you um, – or uh, do you have a certain goal of what you do every day? Like Jeff here was 20. Um, are you, or do you just do what you could do? How do you facilitate that? Yeah, uh, good question. So, you know, we, our group has what's called two ten forty. So at least two conversations, meaningful conversations where you're uh, hopefully exposing the, the person 
uh, to get a yes or no answer if they're interested. And, you know, as Jeff's saying, it does take a little while. Sometimes you got to make a few calls, but that would be two a day, five days a week, which would be your 10 and then four weeks in a month, 40. That is, um, for me personally, kind of the bare bones minimum. And there are many days that I'll do much more than that. Um, but sometimes, you know, real estate and other things get in the way. So that is always my baseline minimum. But, you know, there's some so days. That's a, that's a totally different thing that Jeff's doing. And you're both having massive results. So for those of you that feel defeated by 20 a day, uh, you know, 2, 10, 40, 2 a day, knock that out in the morning, feel like a beast the rest of the day. And so that's a beautiful thing. And that's working for you, that, that flow, right, Matthew? Yeah, but I mean, I'll do a lot more than that. You know, I, I'll, if we're talking dials, sometimes it's 40, 50 dials a day of realtors or more. Um, you know, so there's some days that I've exposed 10 or 12 realtors in a day where they've actually agreed to look at the video and follow up time and all that. So if you have time, you're like, I'm going to sit around and do nothing. I'm going to go sit at the dining room table or my office or wherever you go, put on your warrior hat and start reaching out um, and make it happen. You know, you can let life happen to you or you could take control of it and go, go, go. And so both these men in their own way are finding a way to do it. Next week, I'm going to have two powerful women up here instead of two dudes because we know that women are smarter and more capable than men. I'm not even joking. They're amazing. So be, be on the lookout next Monday. I'm going to have two dynamic women. I just realized I'd try to mix it up and, and I, I don't want to be tilted one way or the other. Um, any final words you'd like to encourage everyone with, Matthew, if they're out there looking for their breakthrough and they're like, how do I do this, man? How do I make it happen? Any any thoughts, Matthew? Yeah, I think before you get to the how, you need to identify your why because that Ooh. will make the how much easier. The how then just kind of happens because when you really know why you're doing it, for me, it's just this uber deep just desire to be free to be able to do what I want to do. And that's only created when you have time and money and uh, transact wheel. It's just, uh, it's frankly tiring. So, um, yeah, I would say crystallize your why and that'll motivate you. Very cool. I just messed up my avatar. I don't even know what I did. Fix my head there. There we go. Thank you, Matthew. Very good. Um, he's correct. How bad do you want it? Hunger. Do you have do you have hunger? We can't give you hunger. You gotta have it. You gotta want it. And you gotta be willing to do what it takes, even if you gotta throw up while you're making the photo. It gets easier. You, there's a breakthrough moment. You get momentum and it gets fun. You could go slow and torture yourself, or you can just get it on and boogie. Real quick, Jeff, final thoughts for everybody. I got a hard stop at noon. Yeah, no problem. I would just encourage everybody, you got to find a place to give a bunch of realtors, whether it's face-to-face -face or online, so that you realize, hey, listen, 40, you're looking at a seven-figure income, and just start just start reaching out, planting seeds. Go ahead and set yourself a uh, time block, just like Brent did on Fridays, and now you're not depending upon one agent. It's like, hey, I'm, I got access to lots of agents out there. I can go find 40. Love it. There's 2 million out there. You can find 40, pray about it, uh, meditate, whatever your jam is, um, and love people and trust God for the increase. But do your part. Do your part. What's your part? Failing beautifully. You know, having people tell you no and be mean as hell about it. Uh, having people say, you know, whatever. We've all been there. Matthew has been there. Jeff, maybe not. He's a newbie, but, but he's getting there. And, and I want you to fail with class, with gusto, because you learn what not to do in your failures, and then you learn what to do, and pretty soon you do more of what works than what doesn't. And so don't be afraid to risk your ego. Go out there and succeed beautifully, failed, fail wildly, learn from it. You'll get better and better, and then all of a sudden you're just having a blast. Build it slow, torch yourself. Build it fast and go for it and, and, and enjoy the ride. You just got to, they were great guests today. Put your comments in the public air, but I want you guys to give them some big thumbs up. I thought they did a great job on the guest thing today. 
Yeah, right now in the, in the comments section, I want to see some people saying thumbs up, hearts, smiley faces, fireballs, whatever you can fire at these two. I've got to go. i got a 12 o'clock thing with, uh, I can't even remember who, but i got something i got to do right now. Love you all.